Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I know y'all seen the title and most of y'all are going to come here and say, oh, you dry snitching X, Y, and Z. And due to this thing between Meek and Poundside Pop being an ongoing thing, I actually wasn't going to say anything. However, I personally feel if these guys are bold enough to put certain incriminating things on the internet themselves, then I can't feel a way about talking about it. They themselves are choosing to upload certain posts and say what they say. So when things come about, that's on them. It reminds me of when guys love to say that bloggers are instigating. However, the bloggers are only using the same content that they themselves are putting up right but anyway it's a lot going on i've seen what's been going on in philly as of yesterday but i didn't decide to speak on it until the third person contacted us on ig with some crazy information now i'm not going to disclose everything but i want to speak on the back and forth between pound side pop and meek mill and the shooting that transpired after in zoo game territory and like i always tell y'all if the public is able to put two and two together then what do you think them special agents that literally get paid to investigate these situations are doing? And at the bare minimum, saying too much like what I've been saying can get you a conspiracy charge in the least, right? So saying that you're in the city and making threats and then something actually ends up happening? <laughs> Come on. But anyway, we're going to get into all that. But before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video onto the algorithm. And if you aren't subscribed to the platform, make sure you take the time to do so now. Let's get into it. Now, real briefly, Poundside Pop and Meek Mill have been going at each other ever since DJ Academics alleged that Meek Mill had been blackballing Poundside Pop and other Philadelphia artists. This would come out after Meek and DJ Academics would go back and forth themselves after allegations would come out that Meek was included in a lawsuit against Diddy when it was alleged that a man from Philly who dated Nicki Minaj had an affair with Diddy, according to an ex-Bad Boy producer by the name of Rodney Jones. Now, academics doing what academics do, he decided to react to it, and it's been digital war between him and Meek ever since. Meek and Axe back and forth have been placed on the back burner after Poundside Pop and Meek will go at it once again, and this time it seems like things have gotten pretty intense due to a triple shooting that happened on Burke Street, which is zoo gang territory. Now, once again, this isn't dry snitching, snitching, or whatever you want to call it, because everything have literally been documented by these guys. It's not like anybody's sitting here and putting allegations. No, everything has been documented. And not to mention, we don't know if anything is confirmed in the first place. But one of the reasons I decided to speak on this is to highlight how easy it is for these guys to incriminate themselves on social media. Whether Meek had anything to do with this triple shooting or not, which I doubt, but perception is everything. And on social media, perception goes a long way because it doesn't take much to convince someone that you are who you say you are as long as there's a certain thing in place to fit your narrative. In this case, Meek have gotten into it with Poundside Pop and had some very interesting tweets and IG stories geared towards him as well. A lot of these responses were full of threats and telling the Zoo Game member that he's currently in the city of Philly right now. I did a whole video where you guys could check out the tweets and posts from before. It was a lot to kind of keep up with, so I didn't really do like a part two or nothing. But if y'all want to check part one out, you could check it out on the channel. So this time I'm just going to highlight a few and get into the news article of the three people who were shot on Burke Street. Now in one post, Meek would say, quote, y'all still hanging with this chump? He just left y'all in the hood. He went broke. Now he back. All my young bulls richer than them poison P words. Worry about the N words you got killed under you push. Stop speaking on rap. We from Philly. N words dying. 
pop one shot i bring it seven days a week till you in words no longer exist sheesh now in the next slide he will also say quote i will come to your block too you not cut you got 20 minutes before i bit these our streets punks we don't let them run our neighborhood let me handle i bet in words stop talking and bring poison in the city now y'all bear with me because as y'all know these rappers don't <laughs> you know typically speak in english i guess but um y'all bear with me in the next slide he would say quote this little n word not around i'm gone lol they have y'all fooled these n words be dying a lot and rapping about dead people this a whole different level i'm on his punk a word seen it lol let me stop getting them followers this for philadelphia clown a word boy you can't even move around the city you go to south street and that's it brody i'm hip you can't really shake out there jiggers ain't trusting your b a word lol cold p word low life now most of these posts are posts that was deleted by me but as y'all know how the internet works nothing is ever really deleted this is why i say do not bring the street stuff to social media if you feel you have to delete anything you say then more than likely you should have never uploaded it in the first place because once it's out there, someone already either recorded it or screenshot it. There's other posts of Meek where he was telling Pop to pull up, uh, says he's in the city now, saying how he'll come to his hood, and I bring this up because I don't know if Meek mission is to crash out, but posted things like that online, then to have people actually get shot in zoo gang territory is an easy case of conspiracy if law enforcement wanted to press the issue. But let's get into the article about three individuals that were shot in zoo gang territory located on Burke Street. The article would state, quote, A 22-year-old man is in critical condition after police say a triple shooting broke out in North Philly Tuesday afternoon. According to police, the shooting occurred on the 2400 block of West Burke Street at around 1.16 p.m. Tuesday. They say a 21-year-old man was shot once in the right leg. He was transported to Temple University Hospital via police where he was placed in stable condition. A 26-year-old man was shot twice in his left arm. He was also transported to Temple Hospital and placed in stable condition. A 22-year-old man was shot three times in his right arm and once in his back during the incident. He was taken to the same hospital where he was placed in critical condition. Police are holding all three men for further investigation. No weapons were recovered at the scene. Now, I told y'all before that I was contacted at least three times about this story before doing it, and um, I was actually told that the people that was hit were actually Zoo Gang members. I don't know how true it is. And once again, I'm not here for that. However, as y'all see, the police have taken them into custody and will have them under investigation as well. Now, I'm not here to throw anybody under the bus because nobody knows who did what or what anything actually stemmed from being that it's currently under investigation. But what I would say is this, saying the wrong things on social media, incriminating yourself, also in the process can get people to point the fingers where you may not want them pointed once again perception is everything on social media whether you're guilty or not these days guys are simply guilty of allegations and assumptions if you see someone making threats towards someone on the internet saying they're in the city saying they're sliding down their block posting photos of you in the city and something actually happens on their block <laughs> what type of assumptions you think is going to surface I'm not here to confirm or not confirm anything because I simply don't know. But this is a current topic of discussion because someone even asked Poundside Pop while he was on live with Dean if the shooting had anything to do with their altercation with Meek. But of course he denied it. Because let's be real, who's going to sit there and say yes? We believe X, Y, and Z did X, Y, and Z, especially if it makes them look bad in the process. Not to mention, it also makes it look like you, you know, you cooperate and snitching or whatever the case may be. So it's just not something that somebody's going to come out and just flat out say, yes, I believe such and such did X, Y, and Z to us. Yes, he did this. It's just not going to happen. Whether it's a police thing or it's an ego pride thing, whatever. You know, but anyway, y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. And um, how do y'all feel about what's going on between Meek and Poundside Pop? Y'all let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.